Hi everyone, welcome back to Raven, Master Thief. The doctor chloroformed us. Why couldn't you just leave it be? Let, let me go. Why are you doing this to me? You and the Baroness. What? Look at me, Pat. I don't know. Don't you understand what you are forcing me to do? You... you don't have to. It is almost over. You won't be with me. I am sorry you have to see all this. I should have used more chloroform. That was chloroform then. Um. Great. Oh, search bolt. Chloroform. Can you kick it? Can't reach it. What about the? Oh, there's something sticking out of that. Uh, talk to the doc good doctor. You said the good doctor. Anything? Oh, what was that? And fasten strap. Oh, oh, we can't do that. Second try. No. We might have to talk to, talk to the doctor. Put the floor rest up. Ah, there we go. Now we can get a pair of scissors. It's a bit. Um. Stab him. Enough of that, Mister Serna. Soon it will all be behind you. No! 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 Okay. Um, well, that didn't work, so let's talk to the good doctor. Talking. Tell me about the Baroness. Why? 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 Why did the Baroness have to snoop around? Why did you have to snoop around? And that club there, you want to plant evidence on me, yeah? I have no evidence, there is no trail, and yet you can't just leave me in peace. Okay, we got the scissors. Um, on and on and what next? Heart failure happens a lot at your age, especially given your background. Oh. I'm still considering whether I should throw you overboard. Don't leave evidence. No evidence. Uh, but what if I'm seen? My plan was perfect. And then you ruined everything! So we need to use the scissors on the... Uh, keep them distracted? Or up? <laughs> that went well! 
Okay, we made progress though. Take it easy, Mr. Tenna. You will only hurt yourself. Shall we begin? Oh, grab that. No. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay, we got a different loop this time. <laughs> God, that's so bad. All right. Oh, what's that? Take it easy, Mr. Tell. Yeah. That. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, yes, we stuck him. Boom. Is that the inspector? Are you okay? I think that was the inspector. Thank heavens. I couldn't have died again. Thanks. A wet towel works miracles. I told you so. Out with it then. What were you doing down there? Inspector, Dying. at least let the constable recover his breath. He almost killed himself. Eh? Me? No. Dr. Gebhardt would have taken care of that for me. Where is he? Gebhardt? He's vanished without a trace. We're searching the ship from top to bottom. One at a time. Tell me, Zellner, what did you find out? Dr. Gebhardt killed Baroness von Trebitz. Impossible. Do you have proof? Besides the fact that he wanted to kill me? But wasn't the doctor with you when the shot was fired? The shot was a distraction. The shot came from a tape. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The shot that we heard was a recording. The Baroness had a tape recorder and good speakers in her cabin. Good enough to make the noise audible on the upper deck. Is that just your suspicion? Or do you have proof? Audio tape in the medical facility. There's an audio tape in the medical center. The reel belongs to the tape player in the Baroness's cabin. And there's a sibling reel in her cabin that belongs to the recorder in the medical center. <sighs> he recorded it in the cargo hold. His tape recorder has a microphone. And I removed a bullet from one of the boxes down there. Yes. And it came from the murder weapon? All right. Just got a letter. Uh, uh, Inspector Legrand! Let's pretend you're onto something. The shot we heard was just a recording. What happened next? We all ran to the Baroness's cabin. She lay comatose in a pool of blood. Dr. Gebhardt pushed past you so that you couldn't get too close to the Baroness. He examined her and pronounced her dead. There was no reason for us to doubt him. The shot, the blood, the Baroness lying there Christ. lifelessly. She reading? But she was only unconscious. Knocked out by the chloral hydrate that the doctor had poured into her glass shortly before. The doctor had a glass in his hand when you came in. He wanted to remove the evidence. But you gave me the glass instead, Captain De Conti, and unintentionally knocked me out as well. It's making sense. Nonsense. There was blood everywhere. And the Baroness is certainly dead enough, isn't she? Then who did shoot her? And when? Uh... Right. She wasn't shot, she was poisoned. Now that's what I suspected, wasn't it? But then... Yes, because actually, we only have the doctor's word that he pulled a bullet out of her. The doctor in the medical facility, I think that's probably... No, was she shot though? There's definitely two bullets. Hmm. I'm going to go she was poisoned. She wasn't shot. She was poisoned. And yet I saw the hole in her chest with my own Ah, eyes. damn. Aha! She must have been shot. Well, ingenious. Where was she shot? Okay, she, so she was shot. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. So was she shot in the medical facility? The doctor in the cabin? 
Oh, it's got to be Doc, because we saw the the burn marks, didn't we? Got to go with that. Then it was the doctor, of course. He shot the sleeping baroness in her cabin, barely 10 meters away from us. What are you saying? The doctor was alone in the cabin for a while. When the alarm went off, it was death. I couldn't even hear myself. And I found a pillow with burn marks. Could have been used to muffle a gunshot. And the blood? The blood wasn't real. Dr. Gebhardt mixed up a liquid that looked like fresh blood to the casual observer, but the liquid remained red instead of becoming darker and browner from exposure to the air. That meant he had to clean the body and get rid of the bedding. But the blood was already there when we first entered the cabin. Dr. Gebhardt was in the Baroness's cabin before the murder. He hid a surgical glove full of the red liquid under her sheet. The Baroness, dead tired, fell onto her bed. The glove burst and the blood spread across the bed. I found the burst glove in the medical center. But why did he do it? What was his motive? Uh, Inspector? She was blackmailing the doctor, I reckon. The Baroness was blackmailing she's got, Dr. Gebhardt. She's going to tell him who she, who she knew was the murderer. Isn't blackmail always a good motive? It's worthless without proof. Um, okay, it was the Eye of the Sphinx. It had to do with the Eye of the Sphinx. The Baroness was supposed to bring one of the keys to Cairo. So Dr. Gebhardt was the raven? I don't think so. But perhaps he was working with him. No, no, no. Do you have anything to contribute, Constable? Uh, uh, confession, sir. Dr. Gebhardt was the raven. It's all here. He admits to everything. What does it say? It says, do you still remember, my dear Nico? The streets were wet with rain and the scent of roasted barley and fermenting yeast wafted over to us from the brewery. The dog barked until your shot struck down the innocent one. After that silence, not a single sound, except for my soft steps fading on the wet cobblestone street. They made a hero of you, and I at last found peace. At least until the urge returned. Some of us are not made for retirement, my friend. I thought they would assign this case to you, and that thought pleased me. We'd finally find out who was truly the better man. And it pains me now to have to admit that you and your little gumshoe got the better of me. You drove me into a corner, forced me to make mistakes. I congratulate you on your triumph, but no one will confine the raven to a cage. There is but one way out, and that is by my own hand. Farewell, Raven Hunter R. Hmm. Inspector Legrand. Oh, so it was. Was it? Inspector? I was there a twist. I told them all, over and over again. But no one would listen. You think that Dr. Gebhardt was really the raven? The things Gebhardt describes in his letter aren't part of any police report. Only someone who was there would know them. Couldn't there have been others involved? Uh, one of the police, for instance. What if one of them changed sides? Why is it so hard for you to accept the simple truth? There was never a new raven. There was only ever the old one. Because this is only the and start that of was chapter Dr. two. Gebhardt. The modus operandi doesn't match. The Raven was not a killer. Legends are rarely what they seem to be, Constable Zellner. Mm. Let's talk about the, 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 the dead man? The dead man. Then who was the man who was killed back then? William Jackson, a petty thief, committed some burglaries together with his brother. Talented, but not world class. And they thought he was the Raven. Some people thought it was part of his disguise. 
If you're a debonair master thief, what better disguise than pretending to be a common crook? From time to time you let them catch you, pulling small jobs, and no one ever imagines you're capable of a major heist. But you didn't believe it. I had my doubts. But everyone congratulated me, and those doubts were pushed aside. It was like being caught in a storm. But eventually the storm passed, and my doubts were still there. But not this time? No doubts telling you that Geb Hart isn't our man? It must be him. Talk about the letter. What about the handwriting, the wording? Does the farewell letter match the Raven's other letters? Yes, it's his handwriting, his words. I've read all the Raven's letters, all of them, over and over again. I never thought it was possible. A resurrected Raven. The Raven was never dead. I shot the wrong man. But that man had the stolen goods, didn't he? So he must have been in league with the Raven. One could hardly call him innocent. Where do we go from here? We deliver the eye and then our contact Paris. A task force will compare all of Gephardt's known residences with the Raven's activity. And if there are any inconsistencies? You're welcome to keep an eye on the safe if you can't let it go. The ship will remain in Cairo for one day. That's all the time you'll have to catch your own raven. I already have mine. Mm. Okay, the game's afoot. Well, it has been for several, several weeks now. But <laughs> ah, we've made Cairo! Ah, you're one of Legrand's men, aren't you? My name is Anton Jakob Zellner. You've come just in time. Grace, my dachshund is missing. There may be more important matters for me to attend to, Mr... Director Abbas Mohtar. And Grace isn't just a common dog. She's a purebred German dachshund, a champion. Right. Um... Theft of the eye? So, the exhibition will still open tonight. But of course, everything has been arranged. The final preparations are almost complete. But one of the two exhibits won't be there. A terrible loss. A tragedy. The irreplaceable Egyptian cultural treasure has been stolen for the second time. The second time? What? Did you really believe that the Eye of the Sphinx was found lying on the banks of the Thames? It might have been. You never know. Are you suggesting some underhand and somehow un authorized taking of ancient relics to Great Russian? Honestly, that is scandalous, man. That would never happen. <clears throat> anyway, about Inspector Legrand. Inspector Legrand, Professor Lucien, and Constable Oliver are overseeing the transportation of the safe. They should be here at any moment. I'll have a look around in the meantime. Do you think that's necessary? The Raven is dead, after all. If you mean Dr. Gebhardt, his body was never recovered. Oh. Nor the stolen eye of the Sphinx, for that matter. It does us a great honor that the inspector is concerned about us. But we have everything under control. Legrand isn't as concerned as he should be. But I am. Is the museum closed? Yes. Only carefully selected guests may enter the museum during preparations for the gala. And, of course, you're one of them, Mr. Uh, Constable. Um, I feel like we've missed a big thing. What We know Gebhardt said he would kill himself, but we, did he jump over the side of the ship, I, I guess? Um, tell me about the security, uh, the security system. What can you tell me about the museum's security system? One of the best on the market, and the second eye will still be exhibited in our special treasure chamber, which is extra secure. Treasure chamber? See for yourself, to the right of the entrance. The eye is as safe as the British crown jewels. I think I'll have a look around the museum. Please do. There's a lot to see. And you'll let me know if you see Grace, won't you? I hope we find her before the great inspector arrives. Isn't it fantastic how he solved the murder on the ship? Legrand? 
Of course. It's in all the newspapers. The yep, murder would be. of the wealthy Baroness von Trebitz and how the great Inspector Legrand identified the murderer in just one day. It's the stuff legends are made of. You should count yourself lucky to have the chance to learn from him. Hmm. Yes, indeed. What do the newspapers say? What? Uh, what exactly do the newspapers say? Everything. It's fantastic. Someone on board must have informed the press immediately. Of course, it's a great advertising for us. The reporters will queue up tonight. And it was reported that Legrand found the murderer. Of course. Who else? Well, I wasn't exactly uninvolved. Of course. Legrand surely has assistance. But honor to he who deserves to be honored. Right? Well then. Be seeing you, Constable. Hmm. Grace. Here, Gracie. Uh, my sweetheart. So who reported that? That's what's Where interesting. Where are you? Oh, uh, Mr. Inch. Mr. Inch. There you are. I am so sorry. Baroness von Trebitz was a good-hearted woman. She did so much for the museum. As you say, sir. And you? Are you leaving so soon? I'd like to go back to my hotel. These last days have been such a strain. First, you sneak into the museum without greeting me, and then you want to leave just as quickly? I didn't want to disturb you, and we'll have time enough tonight. Yes, you simply must come to me. I think it's I Mr. Inch to present is the Baroness Raven. von Trebitz with a medal. Now you'll have to accept it. Of course, if you insist, sir. The Baroness paid for all this. Without her, there wouldn't have been an exhibition or a gala. She was very generous. Yes, she was. I if you'll excuse me now. Constable Zellner, I want to thank you again for all you've done. You saved me, you could say. My pleasure. See you tonight. Hmm. So I'm thinking, if Mr. Inch, the butler, can get in and out of places without being noticed, that's a very handy skill for a thief. He also worked, well, worked in brackets for the Baroness. So maybe the, um, the letter from the Baroness was actually from him. And then obviously... Gebhard thought it was from the Baroness. I'm not sure on that one quite well. But the, yeah, there's a potential uh, impersonation going on there. And he'll also have access to potentially the key and the eye, uh, one of the eyes. So, hmm, because he's only been in service for a little while, wasn't he? So, hmm. 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 Talk to Miss Miller. Miss Miller, I'm glad to see you here. Oh, Constable Zellner, I heard what happened to you on board. Awful, truly awful. All's well that ends well. You are waiting for Professor Lucien? Mm-hmm. Okay, um, how was your Nile cruise? Tomorrow you'll be sailing down the oh, Nile, if I heard correctly. That's right, I'm sure it will be an amazing experience. But you don't seem to be very excited. Oh, but I am. It's very generous of Lady Westmacott to invite me, and especially Maddie. He'll learn a lot. But? Well, Professor Lucian offered to join us. Then Matt will learn even more. And I'm sure it won't be unpleasant for you, either. No, I... I just don't know how Maddie would react if Edgar came with us. I understand. I could test the water to see how he'd feel about it. Would you do that? Oh, thank you, Constable Zellner. Right, okay, fine. Were you able to find out why Professor Lucien left the forecastle so suddenly last night? No, not really. We only had a brief conversation. He was still very nervous. He was like that on the train as well. Seems to be typical of him. It must be something to do with the burglary at the museum. It really affected him. But he told me not to worry about anything. He said, soon this would all be over. Really? How did he mean that? Oh, I... I didn't ask him, Constable. Oh. Are there other passengers from the ship here? Oh, yes, we arrived as a group. 
David Kreutzer, the violinist, was with us. Oh, yeah. So were Miss Myers and Mr. Inch. He seems to have gotten over the death of the Baroness pretty quickly. He seems positively relaxed. Yeah. I've met him. He looks on the bright side of life, so to speak. Where is Mr. Kreutzer? He's over in the treasure chamber. Maddie is downstairs in the main hall. I'm afraid I'll hear the sound of something priceless shattering any second. Matt will be careful, Miss Miller. I'll continue my tour of the museum. Oh, yes, there's so much to see. Hmm. So maybe... I don't know, are they are they building building Mr. Inch up to make everyone think exactly as I did? Or oh, he could be the, the raven and just to kind of throw her off his sons again. Oh, there's... Who's this? Look at guard. Ooh. Let's have a chat with the Mr. Violinist. Kreutzer will provide the background music tonight at the opening. Does he have anything else on his agenda? Yeah, oh, maybe. All right, Dave. How are the acoustics, Mr. Kreutzer? Average. I wouldn't have expected anything else from a big stone cavern. Uh, suspicious of murder? How does it feel to have been accused of murder and to escape by the skin of your teeth? The whole thing could have had a bad ending for you. You didn't have an alibi. It was your gun. I must admit that I can imagine better ways to spend my time than being roughed up by Inspector Legrand. Your snooping actually paid off for me this time. Did you ever suspect me? Of murder? No. I think you're too intelligent to shoot someone with your own gun without arranging an alibi for the time of the crime. Yes. Not saying that you, uh, you wouldn't do it. It seems like a lot of the passengers from the ship are here this morning. Nearly all of them. I had a brief conversation with the Baroness's butler. Between you and I, he seems quite happy to be rid of the old battleship. Mr. Kreutzer. Young Miss Mayers was here as well. Unfortunately, it seems like she's already disappeared again. Forget it. She's engaged. And the old witch with her caretaker and her brat are also here. What do you have against Lady Westmacott? The lady is more callous than the Queen of the Night. She chased her own son away. Ice cold. I met him briefly. Flew to America because he couldn't stand her anymore. Hmm. Did any of the guests behave suspiciously? Was anyone unusually interested in the treasure chamber or the security system? I couldn't say. I'm here to check the acoustics and then I'll come back for the gala tonight. I'm not interested in your detective games. So I, I am starting to think then, if Miss Westmacott chased her son away for being ghastly, that would lead us to believe that um, Matt and his mother, Mrs. Miller and Matt, are in fact... Uh, Miss Westmacott's uh, daughter-in-law and grandson. That would seem to be the case. But again, they're putting on the the pressure that uh, the butler, Mr. Inch, is a bit acting suspicious. So I'm think I think this is they're trying to build up a, 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 a incorrect thought process to think it's Mr. Inch, which I did literally five minutes ago. So I'm thinking it's not him, though. The newspaper this morning is full of reports about the events on board. I've seen them. Someone must have informed the press directly from the ship. He probably got a pile of money for the story, don't you think? And again, they want to ruin my reputation. But no, Constable, it wasn't me. I didn't even consider it. And whoever did it was a bungler. Why? The story is in all the papers. You get more money if you sell the dirt to just one paper, as an exclusive. Who do you think it was? Hmm. The young guy? The stowaway? The captain didn't press charges and let him go this morning. Hmm. But up until then, he was in the cell the whole time. Perhaps Miss Mayers. Maybe she wants to become an actress and needs a bit of publicity. Whoever it was, they wanted to make sure that the story spread and they weren't after money. So, what were they after? Well, I'm looking forward to the concert. It will be an unforgettable night. Probably Mr. In oh, or the the Raven to try and um sell, you know, like the Raven's being caught again. Hmm. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Raven Master Thief. We have made some progress. We've uh, we've left the ship, we've sold that mini 
mystery, which I don't think has been solved correctly. There's obviously something else going on there. Um, and now we're here in Cairo, re ready for the gala. So um, anything can happen in the next 24 hours, or who knows how long. It's 24 hours they said the ship was here, so we'll find out. Uh, we'll pick this up again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.